Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Medzone African Motives, uh, still on Meccano Techniques and for uh, working on build drives. So we're going to focus on the question paper, which was written uh, in March, 2023. We were given on question number four, a fig four, which shows an open flat build drive system used to transmit 24 kilowatt. That is the power. Uh, the driving pulley is uh, 130 millimeters in diameter and rotates at 240 revs per minute the contact angle of the driving pulley is 170 degrees with a coefficient of friction of 0 0.3 all right so this was our diagram which was a source from meccano techniques and for a uh, book by pearson okay so we are asked on the question to calculate both the tight side t1 and the slack side t2 belt tensions and that was five marks for that okay so we need to calculate T1 and T2. Okay, so let's just uh, try and take the information that we are given in this case. So this uh, diagram does not even matter. Uh, so from this part, remember, here we are dealing with uh, a flat belt. So here we have got uh, a flat belt. All right, where we are given the power. So this is the power of uh, 24 kilowatts. That is the information that we have. Uh, and we have got uh, the driving pulley is uh, 130 millimeters in diameter. So we are given the diameter of 130 millimeters. If we convert to meters, divide by 1000, that's 0 0.13 in meters. And also we are given the speed of rotation. In so this you write in revs per minute, uh, that's N240 uh, uh, revs per minute. Okay, then the contact angle of the driving pulley is 170 degrees. So take note, when you are given the angle, you're supposed to convert this to radian. So that is uh, 170 degrees. Uh, you can convert to radians. Uh, from either way, we can use the conversion of pi is equal to 180 degrees. So what about 170 degrees? So you can convert this way, 170 uh, degrees over 180 times pi, which can give you an answer in radians, or we can simply say an angle that is in degrees to be converted to radians, we simply divide by 57. Uh, that's 170 here, 170 divided by 57,3. Your answer will be in radians, which is going to be 2,668 uh, and so forth, which is uh, just 2,668. Nine, uh, two comma nine six seven. All right, two, three decimal places. You can just have something like this, uh, which is uh, now in uh, radians. So take note, we are supposed to have our angle in rads. Okay. Then also we have got the coefficient of friction from our angle here. We've got the coefficient of friction, which is zero comma three. So also we have got the coefficient of friction zero comma three. All right. So that's uh zero comma three in this case. Okay. So now the question is, we are supposed to find T1 and T2 from this information. How can we obtain these values? Where, from where exactly? Okay, uh, this was not a direct question at all. It was not a direct question at all. Uh, but we can check this. Let's check for formulas which consist of T1 and T2 at the same time. From what we are given, here we've got the power. So we know that the power is taken from this formula. Uh, power is actually the equivalent tension uh, that is times the velocity. Whereby T is simply the effective tension that we have is simply the, the, the difference between T1 and T2, mean, meaning to say our power is equivalent to T1 minus T2 times the velocity. We have the power, we do not have the velocity, but we can calculate this velocity, all right? So we can calculate this velocity from which formula? Remember that V is equivalent to pi dn. So from this information, we can calculate our V pi dn uh, from uh, n being in revs per second. So meaning to say we are going to have pi times the diameter in meters, our diameter, that's 0 0.13 in meters times any the small letter n like this i'm presenting in revs per second which is 240 divided by 60 so this will be 240 divided by 60 so that it will be in revs per per second all right so this will give us the velocity of one comma so that's gonna be one comma six uh three four meters per second so this is our velocity in this case okay so meaning to say 
if we are to substitute this here, we can be able to calculate maybe T1, uh, to, I mean, to write T1 and T2. So, so far, that's what we have. Uh, in meaning to say, we now have P, we now have V. So we've got T1 and T2. What is the other formula? Because here, we, we have got T1 and T2, which are unknown values. Meaning to say, we, we need another formula again with the T1 and T2. Okay, here we are given the angle. Uh, of contact and also the coefficient of friction, which we know from the ratio of T1 over T2 that it is equal to E to the exponent of micro theta like this, where this can give us again a, an equation with the T1 and T2. We have these, so meaning to say we can substitute. So from these two equations, this equation and this equation, can we formulate equations for t1 and uh, t2 all right so i'm going to start uh with the one for power here okay let's start with the one for power all right so let me put it this way okay let me just uh, separate here all right so i'm going to start with this equation for power we said p is equal to t1 minus t2 times v so here we can substitute our power that's 24 kilo so that means 24 uh, kilowatts, that's 24,000, is equal to uh, T1 minus T2 times the velocity, which is uh, 1,634. All right, we can find T1 in terms of T2, or we can just find T1 minus T2 as it is by dividing by 1,634 both sides, by 1,634 both sides, this cancels. So T1 minus T2, an equation here is going to be equal to uh, something like um, uh, that is going to be 14687,883. Uh, okay, so we have formulated an equation of T1 and T2 at the same time. So let's just call this our equation one. Okay, let's move on to this equation again, or this presentation where we say T1 over T2 is equal. So T1 over T2 is equal to E to the exponent of micro, uh, that is a micro, which is uh, the coefficient of friction, 0, uh, 0, 0,3 times the theta, which is the angle of contact in radians. Take note, it must be in radians, which is uh, 2, 967. Okay, so this uh, here, if we simplify, is going to be T1 over T2. If you simplify this from your calculator properly, that's going to be something like 2, uh, 2, 435 to three decimal places. Okay, which is same like, uh, just like, over one. So we can just cross multiply here and uh, express T1 in terms of T2. So one times T1, that is a uh, T1 is equal to 2,435 T2. All right, that's this one times T2. So we have formulated another equation, which is our equation two. All right, so we've got equation one and equation two here. Our equation one, this one is our equation one here and our equation two. So from your own understanding of equations, guys, we can see that we can calculate T1 and T2 from this information. How, 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 how can we do that? Okay, already here from equation two, T1 is the subject. We've made T1 the subject. So we can simply substitute this part uh, in the uh, first equation. So we can substitute uh, equation one, uh, equation two, sorry, into equation three into equation, uh, not equation three, but equation one. So that is our T1 in place of T1 in equation one. So from equation one, we are given that T1 minus T2 is equal to 14687,883. So that's our T1 here is this part. So that's 2,435T2 minus this T2 must give us this value 14687,883. So remember, this is the same as 1T2. So you simply subtract 2,435 minus 1, which is going to give us uh, 1,435 
T2, which is equal to 14687,883. So we can determine T2 by dividing by this decimal uh, throughout the equation. Uh, that is both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So this can give us the value for T2. So our T2 uh, is going to be something like uh, 10,235, 48554, uh, which is going to be 485 and so on and so on, okay? In uh, these are uh, newtons, okay? So depending with how you want to present your answer, you want to present this in a kilonewton or, so if it, of course, here we are not... Uh, actually given to say this must be in kilo okay are we given let's check our question again the question was just to determine the speed so we can write this as it is or we can have our answer in a kilonewton if you want so this here i can just write in a kilonewton to say uh maybe just or i can just have this as t2 is equal to divide by 1000 that's 10 comma 2 3 five kilonewton if i want to write this in uh, kilonewtons okay so that's our t2 in this case uh so or you can just use this original value to uh three decimal places and just leave it like that okay so in this case now we want to calculate t1 but remember that we have an equation for t1 in terms of t2 here that we said t1 is simply equal to from this equation t1 is equal to two comma that's 2,435 times T2. And this is our T2, uh, which is uh, 10, 2, 3, 5, comma, 4, 8, uh, and so on, 5, and so on, and so on. Okay. So this gives us a T1 if we multiply. So this is going to be uh, something like uh, 2, 4, 9, 2, uh, 3, comma, 3, 4 in newtons. Okay. Or we can just write this in uh, kilonewton as a T1 is going to be divided by 1,000, that is going to be 24,923. So that will be 923 in kilonewton if you divide by 1,000. Okay, so this is how we were supposed to attempt this question uh, in order to find T1 and T2 from the information that we were given. So you just have to play around with the formulas uh, that you have uh, from the information we, we are given power and we've got the contact angle, the coefficient of friction. And these are the two formulas that we could have used, uh, the formula for power and uh, the ratio between uh, uh, the forces that we have, that is uh, the slack side, uh, the tight side and the slack side in this case. And from these equations, if we can manipulate or, or formulate equations for T1 and T2, we can be able to solve uh, for T1 and T2 just like uh, what we did previous, uh, what we did uh, on this part. Okay, so guys, that's how we can answer these uh, typical questions when it is given in this manner. Uh, so you can use this idea to answer any question that you might be given. Uh, that's it, guys, uh, from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.